week five brings us to the end of the pilot, the trial run for Dallas. Now, it's very interesting that Dallas... The, the DVDs label it incorrectly. They call it season one. Um, but it was a pilot. It was just a trial run. They wanted to see if it would go or not. And they didn't think one hour of television would tell them anything. So they decided they would let it go for five weeks, um, five episodes. And voila, this is what we got. Um, it's interesting, like... I think I like this episode second best in the pilot. I I still have a real affinity for that first hour. I think that first hour is incredible. It's just a great hour of television. Very, very intriguing. JR is at his worst, I think, in that episode. Um, everyone's kind of mean. Aside from Bobby and Pam in that episode, and that makes that episode really fun to watch. Um, this episode, though, episode five, uh, week five, is a barbecue, you know? And it's interesting. We have a good sense of we're going to pour into a series, but... There's also the possibility that the door is completely closed, which is a wonderful way to end something like this, which is a trial. You don't want to leave people just hanging. That would be pointless at this point in time, at the very least. Um, yeah, the, uh, the big storyline in the barbecue really deals with Pam. Now, Pam and Bobby are pregnant, and everyone is super excited about this. But you know, there's a lot of intriguing... We're, they were able to do a lot of intriguing things with, I think, every character this hour. And that's rare for a show to be able to do something that's interesting with every character. So, Sue Ellen... JR's wife finds out about this and she is livid that because JR's kind of just cheating on her without any shame, hasn't been intimate with her for a while, she will not be able to give mommy and daddy their first grandchild. And that makes Sue Ellen feel horrible about herself. And she just gets wasted. And she blabs. When she drinks, she gossips. She talks. And that's a terrible thing. <laughs> that's a terrible combination. Oh, it's awful. But it's very fun to watch. Terrible for the character, but really engaging. Um, so you have that going on. Uh, Lucy, we don't have as much interesting things with Lucy. The most interesting stuff with Lucy was within, I think, the first episode. It's even the second episode, slightly. Um, but with Lucy, Pam has a nephew, I believe, who is Lucy's age. No, no, it's not a nephew. Is it a nephew? It's a cousin, I think. I don't know. It's one of those things. I should have done more research, obviously. But, uh, so she has this, and she, Lucy wants to flirt with him throughout the whole episode, and he is faking dumb. And again, I, I mean, it's stupid, but it's funny. It has a levity to that storyline that the rest of the episode doesn't have. Again, this was something that the previous week, week four, did not have. And that's what makes this episode a much better fit for this series. Um, then you get the storyline with um, 
a JR and JR gets wasted and he goes up to meet um, Pam to try to convince her not to leave South Fork. Now the reason he's trying to convince her is because the two dads, Digger and Jock, are fighting again. Um, and so that's a whole interesting thing that is going to be fulfilled years down the line in a prequel TV movie written by David Jacobs. Um, something for you guys to look forward to. Um, this just, oh man, every, like every storyline worked. It clicked with this episode. Uh, but the big clip cliffhanger it wasn't a, really a cliffhanger the big moment of the episode is when jr uh well is kind of trying to convince pam not to leave and pam falls all the way down the barn and she loses the baby because they can't have a child this early they just can't that would be a mistake um and the showrunners recognized that and that was good that they made sure that that happened because that's a big moment in the show, but it would not have been appropriate this early in the show, I don't think, for her to have a child. Um, but uh, Bobby's big thing is we need to leave. I don't care what happens. We need to leave. And Pam convinces him that they should stay. And then I think Sue Ellen has a conversation with J.R. of, are you going to come in or not? And J.R. is like, nope. And that's where we leave until the first, the true first season. Now, as I've been saying, pretty much everything clicked. Everything worked for this episode. Um, and that's great. A wonderful way to kind of end this trial run. Uh, it just... It was very enjoyable. I liked where things were left off. I like how there's the big... We have the juxtaposition, uh, the parallel of Pam enters in the first episode. And then Bobby and Pam are very heavily considering leaving South Fork in this final episode of this pilot. Um, so that's great. Just wonderful parallels. Um, very engaging overall. I think this episode was not as good as the first episode, but it was the second best of them all. And it truly was the episode that saved the series. It gave them an entire full first season. And so for that, I'm very thankful for this episode. Um... Overall, I would give the episode, I think, a four. It was just really entertaining. I don't have really anything negative to say about it other than maybe some cultural things that just don't translate to today. But, again, culture shifts. It changes. There are things that we're mortified when we look at them now, but at the time it was, I don't know, trendy? Who knows? I don't know. I wasn't alive in the 70s. I have no idea whether some of the things I'm thinking of were a problem at the time or not. I just don't know. Um, am I looking forward to season one? Uh, yeah, I am. I think season one is going to struggle more than the pilot did, but I am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be uh, an entertaining ride um like the prediction i i mean i have seen all of season one i haven't seen it in season format though um serialized format my prediction is that it's going to struggle for a good while in the beginning half of the season and then it will find itself by the end of that first season and then have a great second season. So anyways, I'll do a overall thoughts on the pilot thing like eventually I'm going to do overall thoughts on Dynasty. 
season one. Um, and other than that, this is it for the summer. Um, so thank you guys for taking this journey with me, and I will be talking to you again soon. Bye.